Hello everyone, my name is Ramat and today we're going to do a Talia mid guide. I know you really like those against assassins especially, so here is one against the Zed. And we're playing with Dark Harvest, Taste of Blood, Eyeball Collection, Ravenous Hunter, Biscuit Delivery, Time Arc Tonic and this rune stats. Now these secondary runes help us very much against assassins, but I do not under all conditions recommend for you to play. I also recommend for you to pick counters in those matchups, so annoying champions such as Vagar, Syndra, Lissandra, maybe counters to that. I believe with Pantheon I can actually win the Z matchup most of the time, with Talon you can actually if you're good. So you have to be aware of the situation, especially if you're playing Tlia. So I talked about runes, I'm playing with Ignite, but you should probably play with Barrier if you're a beginner or exhaust against these ultimates. Also against maybe uh, maybe Katarina, for example, when she ults, that would be a good thing to have exhaust. Ignite is useful only for roaming and killing him before 6, because then when it's 6, he has an ultimate that deals damage, you don't, and she also has a lot of dashes, such as Katarina's other champions. I like to play with Doran's Ring into two potions, into Ludens or GLP, maybe I'll try GLP this game to see how we can easily roam bot, because they have a Janna and uh, Draven, so it would help us greatly if we could just if we could just roam and get the kill and we're going to, after that for orb into actual for orb into actual Ludens and the stopwatch somewhere there I missed that CS let me just all right so let's do some auto attack procs let's get that more auto attack procs right and now let's get level 2. Okay. And I'm gonna plant that down so that we can easily push him. Maybe he's gonna miss some CS there. And we're gonna... We're gonna do that. Okay. So we're doing fine right now. Okay. I'm gonna proc Dark Harvest here. I want to proc it. Alright. And we're gonna... I want to deep ward, but I'm against... I'm against the Master E, so I don't care that much. Alright, we're level 3. Now, I proc'd Dark Harvest, which means I will not have it for the next fight. I'm gonna let that die. I'm not gonna let this one die. And... As you can notice here, we can actually... We can actually get first blood. Okay, he should have W'd there or flashed out. A lot of good people will just flash out in terms like this. And so, you gotta, you gotta see that I'm losing some CS here, but it's fine. He's losing way more. Okay. Uh, he's gonna jump on me. I don't have... I really hoped... Uh, I really hoped he would have <laughs> flashed over that wall, but he did not. Yeah, that was the mistake that I did. I did not have any mana left, but it's fine. We're gonna get the kill. Zed went here for absolute no reason. I wanted to force a flash on him right this way, but apparently he had. He didn't. Uh, he didn't follow. Okay, we're getting another kill here. Or are we? No, I don't dive that. We're gonna die. Well. Getting the kill is worth though. Okay, so for items, we're going to get GLP first so that we have that slow. But we're gonna have less damage than usual if you go GLP, so you gotta understand that. I'm not sure what Zack is doing. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna get this. Oops, missed that one. And so we're going to get some itemization that actually makes us more tanky. That's the old build that you've seen already in the last videos. The orb into Lyandris after finishing first item and also stopwatch because we're against annoying champions. Mainly Master E, mainly Zed. And this actually helps us. And I'm gonna... actually able to poke him there he has no not any more pots so we can okay I missed that one greatly 
let's just throw another Q here and go back for the Tome. We're not rushing anything. He's, he can get poked, but I really want this Tome first and also always get maybe some early armor, maybe some potions. I'm getting lots of potions to actually... Uh, okay, they got counter -ganked. To actually survive the lane, that's what I wanted to say here. I'm getting lots of potions for that. And Master E might now get the Drake. He's, he went for a curve bow. Also, I have Ignite now. So I can actually fight one more time in six seconds or so. I'm gonna miss the cannon. I'm gonna ping that this guy is missing. And there is a bounty. There is a bounty on that guy, on that Z. On that T, sorry. Okay, let's do our part here. Okay, we can just ignite now, follow with ult, auto attack, and we got him, because we, we got him if this guy moves. Yeah, that went well. We did lose the drag there, but we did gain a plate on mid, and... There is probably a mastery here. I'm coming. Oh my god. That actually went well. He used his Q right at the good moment. I mean, he probably had no words there or no idea that I'm actually doing that. But we got him in the end. It was well worth it. Not missing that cannon, okay. And now we're gonna we're gonna stay for the GLP because as you can see you can get GLP at one hundred and thousand and five hundred gold. One thousand and five hundred Jesus, I cannot pronounce that. And so having GLP will allow you to actually instantly cast it whenever Z jumps on you. And now I have two potions, I don't have flash. But a good trick against Z is to actually instantly flash when he uses Q after he ult, so not on direct ult, because that's going to be just a panic flash. No. Okay. We are fine. We are fine. He used ignite, he used everything. I should have used the pot there, I calculated right the damage. And also I'm seeing on top, I'm seeing their uh, their mastery and Garen got the kill, so we're doing fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was a nice... Oh my god! That was a nice sidestep. Jesus, he scared me. I, he really went this way. I didn't have flash, but he misplayed that. I mean, I actually turned right. I had the good reflex there. And if you want to win this, I need to buy more potions. Because that's the only way we're actually going to succeed. I need to gank bot also now. And Garon does fine. Garon does really fine on this. And let's see. Also, a good tip. If the enemy mid laner is Taric and they have a funnel comp, you should aim for picking up champions such as Syndra. Champions such as Assassins that can 100 to 0 him. Maybe LeBlanc that has lots of bursts. Champions such as Ramos, which have a taunt, or Lulu, which have a polymorph. I just won a game in that context, and so I want to... I want to point that out. And... His HP is low. And he's going for golems. Maybe... Maybe... I'm gonna do a blind one. Okay, so... Logic is that he's here. Does he die? Yeah, he did. That actually went well into my favor. And I have in 8 seconds. Okay. Okay. Got him another time. So I got both the jungler and the said I did not want to use my flash. That was the cost of missing the ultimate. So you gotta understand that. You gotta understand that without flash you're very squishy. And in this context I need to get Zonia now. 
because some HP won't help me in the next fight. And so we're getting stopwatch right now. And we're going into second item zone because we're just going to int if not. I also get vision wars guys, very important. And against assassins going second zone, especially when you're so far ahead with 7 stacks in 10 minutes. It's good, okay? You have a winning top side, you have a winning mid side, you just don't have to int and to pass that, uh, that bounty. Okay, so that's what you gotta do here, Twan. You gotta understand. Now, he has no ult. And I do have a stopwatch. I have the safety net, okay? We can just can just keep on destroying now we can move bot because that is also probably going we can also uh, tank most of his damage and actually I'm gonna get here okay we got him and we're gonna defend this okay and I'm dead. Maybe... Nope. I <sighs> got baited by that Janna, but it's fine, really. Uh, what next? Oh, yeah. Get this. Get this. Get this. Because that is bot until he comes mid. Well, I got the mastery, but the 1 versus 3, I should have just backed off. Haven't considered that. Okay, that's fine. Wait, stay for the plates, stay for the plates. You gotta stay for the plates there. Okay, now jump out. Jump out. Jump out. Excellent. See? That's how you do it, just with pings. And I see the mastery. Also, I see the mid laner. I passed out a lot, a big bounty there. That's not what I wanted. So, we got a... Ah, we, okay, <laughs> never mind, we have the guy right here. We have the Garen here, it's fine, we got it. And they cannot really do anything much here, because they are both dead. I'm going to help them. Okay. Instant flash, it's fine. I'm gonna need some help from here. I can throw a Q maybe, but there he is going to come here and he's going to melt us all. All right, got him. And Yumi went there for some reason towards the top side, and this guy is dead. There is a mastery that comes. Oh my god. Yep, that's that's about it. Should have just left him. Should have GLP'd first, but it's fine. Uh, it's fine because we're gonna play around the top lane now, and I'm gonna get this 250 more gold. Jesus, should have just backed off there. And 7-1 top laner, 80 mid laner is fine. It's fine, but Yumi went for absolutely no reason towards the top side, and now we're fighting a Fed Z mostly, but we do have. We do have a good portion of the map covered and we want the next drake so the build goes well till now and this guy is about to die i'm not sure why he's hinting all right all right all right all right i mean they've seen they've seen that mastery and even if they hit ult there I'm trying to help him here. Because there's going to be. Ah, oh, never mind. Where is where is the mastery? I'm feeling that she's around here, but. Yeah, okay, fuck it, let's go. Get the tower here, it's very free. I missed that. And somehow, Janna got. Oh well, well, go, 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 go. Alright, that's, as you can see, just slow into full combo. 
Why? Yeah, I'm backed off there. Because now I cannot fight the Z alone. I do not have stopwatch. And we should get the kill here on Draven. Yep. And I want this blue buff, so let's get it. And sup. Okay. So this is the difference for GLP. Uh, mainly that one shot there on E wouldn't happen necessarily if I do not hit it that easily with playing on Ludens. It's just here, here, Jesus, dude. Yep, never mind. What are you doing? What? Why did you do that? Why did he just form my lane <laughs> for no reason? And here we see them inting again. For some reason. And I'm gonna get two more vision words. Now I'm really on the blue build right here. So, one shot trick to people GLP into WQ combo. And they are about to destroy everyone here because they are so fat. Jesus Christ, what's that Garen doing? Yeah, we won. We won simply because that. I mean, that Fiora just fed him and it's over. But if he wouldn't be fed, it would change a bit in terms of in terms of playstyle. I mean, all right. I'm tanking this. Okay. And Jana died as well. Okay, so basically Garen made the penta here. But you understand the build, you understand how I played. You've seen some of my small mistakes. And you've seen the general playstyle. Which is good, I, I assume that they're going to surrender soon. But... Maybe my Yasuo and Yumi will int a bit more, we'll see. And back off. Why are you doing that? Alright, get him. Alright, he really did jump there. I don't know why, but he did. And I'm gonna wait here, I'm gonna get this. And I'm going back to mid lane because they are dying. I mean, I don't have any help. I'm gonna... Okay, I'm staying right on the word. Yep. Yep, yep. That Draven went straight into suicide. There. <laughs> it's fine though. We got him. Now let's get... What, what is he doing? He's probably died, dead, right? Yes, I mean. Oh no, never mind. Yumi heals. Forgot how OP that is, but yeah, Master E came back. But well, this turned into a bad fiesta for them. Let's just get this. I'm just gonna solo get this. It's another objective that you should get. You can see my build, you can see how I actually did in this matchup. And you should try to do as best as you can early if you cannot fight the Zed, you should actually try to stay back and just roam, okay, so that's another important thing, I'm just going for that when it appears, oh my god, he just turned, okay, so just do this, full Q, W, into Q, into another auto attack, into another one, okay, get it, and now we're going for the orb, right here, because Yep, I'm lagging a bit. Okay, let it fix it. Okay. Initially, if I was fed enough, I would say go for orb into Lyandris, but this build also works fantastically, especially if you keep on the farm. You, the only thing that you gotta do, if you have GLP, you gotta hit. You gotta hit that combo. Because if you don't, you got GLP for no reason, okay? So, GLP, the only reason you get it, and the only reason it might be decent compared to the other one, to the... Okay, they're fighting. It's because you it enables you to hit your combo. If you don't hit your combo, you're useless with GLP. Okay, so you lose the push power, the pressure. You lose everything that was required. And bye. 
See how simple that was? Alright. And I need to back off. I'm getting too much poke in top of my head. But look, we won the game easily. And it worked best for us. It was simple. I'm getting some more kills here. And... Right, why did he not die? And also on the Draven there, you do that, instant combo, another kill, flash, Zonia, GG. That's how you do it, guys. It's a, it's a good item if you practice it a bit, because if you don't think that you can just pick it up and you're going to roll with it, no, it's, it requires some exercise. Like everything in life, it requires exercise. So if you want to play with this item, you just gotta, just gotta focus in... Either in the practice tool or when you cast it first times, you gotta see in normals how to actually cast the W after it. And if you're playing against someone who has dashes, you should expect always for them to cast their dash when you are hitting GLP. Because when you hit GLP, they're going to expect the W, right? So if you're playing against someone with dashes, they're gonna might dash out because you it's predictive. And in higher reloads, they're gonna dash out instantly. In lower reloads, they might uh, not dash out when you Ludens and you have Ludens and you do W combo. But in higher ELOs, uh, sorry, but uh, with GLP you kinda, you get kinda predictive. So you gotta understand, if they have their dash up, they're gonna use it. If you're playing against uh, Lissandra Vega Syndra, they're going to use their main defensive skill. You gotta understand those things, right? And so, knowing that, you can actually do much more and learn how to play with GLP better. I'm Jumat and I really hope you enjoyed this game, guys. See you next time. Goodbye.